Let's continue our discussion on explicit type conversion. This is part two of explicit type conversion. So without any further delay, let's get started. The topics of this presentation are explicit type conversion using float, explicit type conversion using str, and then after discussing these two topics, we will see the homework problem of this presentation. Let's start with the first topic that is explicit type conversion using float and let's understand what does it mean. Explicit type conversion using float refers to the conversion of one type to float type via user intervention. We are well familiar about the concept of explicit type conversion. We already know what explicit type conversion is. Explicit type conversion refers to the conversion of one type to another type via user intervention, which is just opposite to implicit type conversion, where Python was involved in conversion of one type to another type. Explicit type conversion using float refers to the ability of the float method to convert one type to float type. So, float method will convert one type of object to float type object. Now let's see the syntax of float. We just need to type float and we need to provide value that we want to convert within parentheses. Now in order to see this in action and in order to understand how float method works, we need to go to our command prompt. After activating the python interactive shell, type this command x equal to 78. So with this command we are asking python to make variable x and make it point to value 78. Hit enter. Now let's type x equal to float x. So we want to convert the type of this value to float. So here we have provided x which means we have provided this value 78 and we are asking python to convert the type of this x that is value 78 to float using float method. And then after this, we want that x must point to this new value. If we hit enter, we will not get anything because we are not printing anything. Now if we type x and if we hit enter, we will get 78.0 as a result. Because float method is capable of converting the type of integer to float. So it can convert 78 to 78.0 and that is what we are getting here. Now let's see one more example. This time let's type y equal to 3.14159 within single quotes. This is a floating point value but this floating point value is written within single quotes. If we hit enter, we will not get any error message. Now type y equal to float y. We want to convert this string to float this time. And this example is specifically given to let you know that not only float is capable of converting an integer to float, but it is also capable of converting a string to float. So now this time if we type y, we will get 3.14159 on the screen. Float has successfully converted this string to this floating point value. I hope this is clear as well. Now let's move on to the next example. This time let's type z equal to 0078.90. This time we have some zeros over here and this entire floating point value is written within single quotes. Now if we hit enter, let's type z equal to float z. We want to convert the type of this object to float. For this, we have provided z within this float method. Hit enter and this time if we type z, and hit enter, we will get 78.9. So we will not get these zeros because these zeros have no significance. And that is why we are getting 78.9 as a result. So float does this job for us automatically. We don't have to worry about it. I hope the concept of float is completely clear. This is how explicit type conversion using float works. Now let's move on to the next topic that is explicit type conversion using str. Let's see what this str function is capable of doing. Explicit type conversion using str refers to the conversion of one type 
to string type via user intervention. As the name itself suggests, this is str, which is short for string. So, this str method is capable of converting one type of object to string type object. Now, let's see the syntax. In place of float, we now have str and within parentheses again, we need to provide some value which we want to convert. Now, let's move to our command prompt and let's activate the Python interactive shell once again. And this time, let's type this command x equal to 198. So, we are asking Python to make x point to this value 198. Hit enter. Let's type x equal to strx. This time we are using str method and to this str method, we are providing x, which means we are providing this value 198 to str and we are asking Python to convert this value to a string. And we also want to store it within x or in other words, we can say that we want that x must point to this new value, which is provided by str. Now, if we hit enter and if we type x and then if we again hit enter, we will get 198 within single quotes. This means that str has successfully converted the type of this object to string, as we can observe. Now, if you want to verify this, we just need to type this, type and then x. Within parentheses, we should provide the value for which we want to check the type of. If we hit enter, we will get this class str message, which indicates that this object belongs to str class, which is correct. This is a string only. So, I hope this concept is also clear. This is how str function works. This means we are done with this topic as well. We have understood what is explicit type conversion using float and we have understood what is explicit type conversion using str. Now, let's move on to the homework problem of this presentation. We have already seen this homework problem. Now, your job is to identify the error in this problem. We know that there is an error. If we hit enter at this point, we will get type error. That is what we have seen already. Now, your job is to identify the cause of error and rectify it. After successful rectification, please post your answers in the comment section. So, we are done with the homework problem as well and we have seen all the topics related to explicit type conversion. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.